Hey guys, it's Dr. Rob with your two minute tip this week to make you feel better. Today we're gonna to be talking about my most prescribed exercise that I give to almost everybody and the one that I do almost daily myself. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about the glute bridge exercise and this is one of the most commonly uh, inactive muscles due to an imbalance from sitting. So if you're somebody who sits a lot, which is actually most of us, uh, we actually sit on average 11 to 13 hours a day. So if you sit at work, this seems uh, overly obvious to you. But if you, if you think about your day, you get out of bed, you sit and eat breakfast, you sit in the car and you drive to work, you might be up and down, but then you sit in the car and drive home, you're gonna sit at the dinner table and, and uh, eat dinner and then you might even sit on the couch after dinner. So there's a lot of sitting in your day. You have to remember your body gets better at whatever you make it do. So if you're always in that sitting position, so if I kind of mimic the sitting position, this is my hip, this hip is always in a shortened position. So your body is actually gonna get better at having being in this sitting position, which results in the hip flexor starting to shorten and tighten up. Um, the problem with that, as soon as the hip flexor starts to shorten and tighten up, it's actually signaling the brain. The brain goes, oh, my hip flexor's on, and then your glute muscle actually neurologically gets turned off or deactivated. So it's kind of similar to bicep tricep. If your bicep goes on, your brain automatically turns your tricep off. That's what you don't have to sort of think about it to, uh, to eat dinner every night. Um, so the same thing happens in our hip. The hip flexor tightens, which turns off the glute muscle. So the most commonly prescribed exercise that we give is to release the front of the, the hip flexor to get that stretched out and then to activate the glute. That's going to rebalance the pelvis, takes pressure off the hams or the, uh, the low back, back, takes pressure off the hamstring, takes pressure off the knee. It fixes a whole lot of stuff and just reduces overall tension in the body basically. So how do we do this? First we start with stretching the hip flexor. So you're going to start in a kneeling position. You can put something under your knee if you need to. And the key is actually you're going to notice everything's at 90 degrees. So so my hip is straight, I'm not like kind of crazy stretched like this. And all you're gonna do is try and tuck your hip underneath, uh, or tuck your bum underneath you. And you should start to feel a good stretch through the front of the thigh. Sometimes it goes down, but most of the time it's straight through here. And you're just gonna hang out and hold this position for again, about a minute, okay? Nice deep breaths into it. If you really wanna accentuate it, you can take your palm and kind of push it to the ceiling, and you're gonna hold that. From there, you're gonna do that both sides, stretch out both hip flexors. From there, you're gonna go into your glute bridge exercise. So again, you're gonna bring your heels as close to your bum as you can, rack your head, and then you're gonna lift your bum up in the air, pushing through your heels, keeping your abs nice and tight. And you're gonna do this up, hold for one 1,000, kind of pushing your knees apart, and then back down. Push it up, squeeze, and kind of go from there. What that's gonna do is that it's gonna release the front, start to activate the glutes. When you're doing that glute bridge, you wanna make sure you're feeling it in the glute muscles, not in the hamstrings or the low back or quad, because that's just pr practicing a bad habit. Um, if you need help with this to, to really nail this one, because it can be a little bit tricky, uh, talk to your therapist uh, at your next visit and make sure you're doing this properly. Like I said, it's literally my favorite one. Most people should be doing it. I personally do it pretty much every single day just to keep everything in balance. Have a great week.